Okay. <laughs> Hello, dear friends. Good, good afternoon. Such a, a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. So I put one cup of water, three cups of sugar, and uh, let the sugar dissolve. You can put more water, you can put less water. It does not matter that much as long as there is no white sugar, undissolved dry sugar. Eventually, all the water will be dissolved, will be uh, evaporated. So we put the fire a little bit slower and prepare our, our spice. So we will use, we are making uh, pumpkin spice gahamel. So I use pumpkin um, puree. I use pumpkin spice. To make it more spiced up, I will use ground cinnamon to add a little bit more. And I need cream. I need heavy whipping cream. And that's it. Sugar cream, a little bit of salt. Okay, now I am preparing the cream. I put heavy whipping cream, about half a cup. We start from there. And uh, about one cup. And I put some speculoos cookie so that it is becoming a little bit more starchy. And uh, then I will put in cinnamon. Cinnamon and pumpkin spice. Cinnamon. Pumpkin spice. Cinnamon. Now I will heat it up and blend it. Okay. Now we are going to prepare. This is newly cleaned kitchen counter. So I will put a piece of paper. So here is our spice. Now I need to blend it. It's a little bit warm. It will be noisy. Now let's take a look at the sugar. Ooh, almost there. We can turn the fire still slow and uh, working on our pumpkin spice. So this pumpkin puree I will put into our blend. Look at it, look at it. It's like this. Not yet there. Turn the fire a little bit stronger. Okay, let's take a look at the sugar. Oh, you see, it becomes like this kind of caking. There is nothing wrong. Do not worry, because you are 
getting rid of the water already. Now we can turn the fire a little bit stronger. This is just one part of the natural process. Turn the fire a little bit stronger and the hot temperature will allow it to, to melt. Use this and this. See, it will restart to melt. You can see starting little bit stronger fire and this is a crucial moment i have done this many times i have seen this and i want to share with you that uh, sometimes you do not see this part in cooking video they do not show this part maybe because they are doing a better job than me but uh, many times almost every time when I do it, it happens like this. So I think it deserves to be, to be shown, to let you see. So you can see now they are sugar. They are still in white color. And it does not have caramel flavor. It does not have this beautiful, unique caramel flavor. It needs to get the water out. Okay, so this one seems a little bit too uh, warm. I want to heat up a little bit more. Now we take a look at this. Oh, you see, it starts to melt. Don't worry. You can help a little bit with the see it starts to to melt again and this one is pure gahamel. Make sure there is no big clump with a little bit with it's okay because the water, the moisture from the cream will allow it to dissolve again. A little bit is okay. Just don't worry, panic too much about it. It's the natural process. If you see the white clump, you didn't do anything wrong, okay? The other time, I see even bigger clump. And um, make sure the clump is not too big. When it is too big, it is not good. Okay, so the col color is starting to, to change, this golden color. And you do want to have it a little bit burnt, right? So it's better to allow it to, to evaporate a little bit further of the water. So you see it becomes and uh, one of the, the method that I tried, if I put too much sugar, it's not easy to work. If you put five cups, six cups of sugar, it suddenly becomes the sugar is too powerful. It's not easy to do. It's better to have it uh, like uh, three cups of sugar, two cups of sugar. I think if you have three cups of sugars, you kind of get uh, um, four, five, six of this little eight ounce jar. Okay, oh, look at it. We want it a little bit further, uh, Gahamelizi, right? 
it is good but not yet the best okay now I am smelling it okay now here we have this this one is becoming very much much hotter and uh, if it is cold it suddenly get into this very super duper hot sugar it will have a big huge temperature shock and will have a, a huge uh, a clump and uh, that we want to avoid keep on be patient yes patience is a virtue right it is and you can take this time to dissolve further this eventually will dissolve with okay look at it and the flavor and the smell and the, the fragrance it's starting to come up now get ready to be shocked this will be a really shocking experience at this time we want it not too 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 burnt if sea salt caramel i may be burn it a little bit further but this one we have a lot of uh, um, a lot of spice a lot of uh, uh, sugar a lot of uh, um, uh, cookie and things this is good look at it this is really scary yeah very very hot turn the fire slower even slower So I almost stopped the fire and we can put more liquid with cream. Seems needs a little bit more cream. Now we can turn the fire a bit stronger. bring it to a complete boiling and then I will put in some salt this salt will <coughs> make the flavor more prominent and more interesting and that is it bring it to a complete boil then we are done okay see so every 
everything is cooked. I didn't put any alcohol in it. No liquor, no alcohol. If I do eggnog, I put a little bit of alcohol, whiskey or brandy or rum. If I make um, uh, espresso, caramel, I put kalwa. Uh, um, yeah. So this is rum liquor. I put this one, but uh, sea salt, uh, but uh, um, pumpkin gahamel, not any of these. Allow it to evaporate and make sure it does not burn to the edge. And you can use this time to clean up a little bit of the pot. I mean, some of uh, the place has some sugar residue and you want it completely dissolved. Now it's boiling. Now we turn the fire slow and let it simmer. And we make sure it is completely boiling, boiled to make it safe. Now I want to try it a little bit. My whole house is smelling like a pumpkin. See, this is the consistency of it. Oh my goodness. I did put a lot of spice. Mm. Mm. So, as I can see, it is um, in this temperature and becomes so slow running. And uh, if it is cooled down, maybe this bottle will, um, uh, will become hot. Put in hot water bath or uh, microwave oven in 30 seconds will do the job. It will make it soft. Okay, so we are bottling. I prepare some small bottle just in case if we got uh, excess ready. I think I am good. I do not need any further equipment to to pour it in. Now, moment of truth. Let me see how. Uh, let us see how Yang Hai Ying can put all these bottles in. One look. Sorry. Not even a drop coming out. So far proud of myself. <clears throat> goodness. Isn't it perfect? Right? Okay, first let me take a selfie. When you are doing it in the wrong mess, in the right method, in the right pace, there is some magic in making things work. 
and I love that feeling of you make it just right. This little lid outside a little bit not pretty. You get the idea sometimes. The outside is not as pretty as we want, but they are good. almost have okay the rest I think I will enjoy it myself so these are and uh, <coughs> that is it let's take a look I will use this to clean up my yogurt my yogurt pot. You can see still some pieces of it here. So that's the pumpkin. That's so good. Okay, now I will keep on making my yogurt. Oh, one moment. I have one drop of water. I am so happy. Once you know the method, things become so much easier. So how I make yogurt, I put whole milk and uh, cream, whipping, whipping cream, heavy cream. So you can take a look. So I put whole milk and then uh, about two tablespoons, one tablespoon of uh, uh, heavy cream so that it has more flavor and bring it to a boil. Nothing else we need to do. Now we can try this uh, uh, gahamen. Oh my goodness, it's a little bit too. <laughs> you can make it into coffee gahamel, pumpkin spice gahamel coffee, and just to put one spoon for in your in the bottom of your coffee and blend it. Oh my gosh, it's too much for me. So here is the yogurt I made. You see what I am doing? Today is good. The other day it's all messy and uh, not easy. Today seems uh, everything work out well. Every day is different. There are days things work out well. There are days nothing works, right? It happens to the better, the majority of us. Never, ever lose your hope. 
never ever lose your dignity. Why do I say this? <laughs> Not in the rush. Stick to your principle. And later on, it will be completely cleaned. I think that's too much. Uh, Gahamed. Let me try. It's still a little bit too sweet. yogurt. I make it more condensed. I'm sorry to bore you with this tedious stuff, but I am enjoying it. Like jamais. It's clean like Ants leaked the bone. If my family sometimes they put watermelon in the refrigerator and not even a freezer, just a refrigerator, I will wait some time until it is, uh, it is not too harsh on the teeth. I do not like something too cold. is it. Now I can put it back in. Now let me enjoy it. It's my time. Oh my goodness. Not for you. Only for me. So this way I have no anything left over wasted, not a single drop of sugar is wasted and not a single, single sparkle of spice is wasted. <laughs> 